Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us here on Seven Mile Hill. I'm here with my sister Elizabeth. You've met her before in some of our other videos. Today, we are going to make a zucchini bread recipe that I found that was really good. So, um, we are going to get started. We shredded the zucchini, outside skin and all. My sister did it with the machine that I'll show you, and then I did it with the actual hand shredder. So if you don't have the machine to do it with, that's perfectly fine. Or if you want to chop it up, that's perfectly fine. All right, we ready to get started. We got all of our stuff right here on the table. got the uh, the flour and that is we're doing two loaves so it's three and a half cups of flour okay that's for two loaves not one and then we have well, let her get that in there we're going to do all the dry ingredients first okay. three and a half cups of flour and then we're going to put a uh, Two teaspoons of bacon powder. Remember what we just said, it's doubled. So normally with one loaf, it's going to be just one teaspoon. You want me to say the one loaf? Oh, no, 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 you're fine. So a teaspoon of bacon soda, teaspoon of, ba of salt, three teaspoons of ground cinnamon, Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And you know what I also found too is I used pumpkin pie spice when I ran out of nutmeg. Still came out amazing. So you can always master and change your recipes. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. We do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I need a cup of granulated sugar. A cup of the packed brown sugar. And that's it for our dry ingredients. That's it for the dry ingredients. All right, we'll let you put that so blender we, rolling on. We need uh, a... <laughs> lock it in. <laughs> going to lock it in place so it doesn't move out of there on us. <laughs> That's a cup of oil, vegetable oil is what my sister prefers. I have castor oil. Oh, or, no. I have, not <laughs> vegetable, that was canola. I have canola oil. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I say canola is because uh, I learned years ago, with, you know, any kind of cancer, um, that there are some foods that we needed to stay away from and if vegetable oil sits around too long Which this bread doesn't but I've gotten myself in the habit of just not using the vegetable oil if I can help it And we have Applesauce, a which half is a, cup. a half a cup of applesauce Do we want to start blending it to get it Yeah, rolling? you can want to do it on low Start out with low so you don't get floured. 
Came from her her girls, she calls them chickens. And I'm going four teaspoons of vanilla. Homemade vanilla. Homemade vanilla. The real vanilla. She doesn't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we already did the apples. Me in trouble. Oh, yeah, and now we need um, three, cups, three of cups of the zucchini. chop up. Don't worry about it being exactly level on top. It does not need to be level on top. And I got some skin here I gotta chop up because she started to peel. <laughs> okay. So I've got to chop it up. There's two. Scrape down the sides of your bowls. It always helps make sure all your ingredients are getting mixed in good. And three. All right. We'll save this for another round. Oh, we make another cake. That's what I just put it back over. I made two more. chocolate chips if you'd like. I mean, I'm always putting stuff in like dried cranberries, things like that. You got the blueberries you can use, and then uh, we got the walnuts. How do I open this round? Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Yeah. It turns. So, um, let me get Vanilla applesauce. Put as much dust as you want. I'm using a, a little over a cup. And then I'm going to put some blueberries in there. Oh, We're going to try something different today. Now the stove you want at 350. And that's been preheating while we have been putting this together. And I'm doing blueberries. Make sure you got all your little... Uh, stems off there. I made sure they were clean before I brought them down here. Oh, missed one. You can use the dried berries too. I really like the dried berries. I don't, you can keep those for a while. Whoops, there's one I missed. Anybody else missing a stem? Okay, we got everybody. Are you doing a plain loaf or are you mixing both berries and nuts in? 
You want to do them both in there? We can. Okay. Cool. Cool. We're all gonna we're gonna try the blueberry thing together. Yeah. Like up this wrist. Do you want nope, the other way. Yeah. Put it in. Put it on. Swing it around to catch. Now that it will go. It won't go if it's not caught. Okay. You ready? Yep. All right. I know we could have put the blueberries in whole, but um. There you go. I want to just dump them all in together. You can do whatever you like. You know, make your own recipe and make your own fun. There we go. Okay. Yes, spoon. Yes. Yeah. Like a blueberry walnut. Doesn't that look pretty? It does. It looks good. Get my vegetables for the day. <laughs> I'll put on a little spring. All right. Good morning, Rosie. Yeah. See if we can get half and half. All right. So she's already oiled the pan, and we're just gonna fill these jokers up and. We will enjoy it in about 50 minutes from now, 50, 55, really depends on your oven. I have um, gas, strictly gas stove, and it didn't take me but 40 minutes. But the recipe calls for 55, so just so you know, um, don't go exactly by the time. Poke it in the middle when you think you know, you've got a half an hour, 40 minutes into it. Check the middle, make sure it's done because your stove could be different. It could also be a difference of the altitude, altitude or the humidity in the air. So just check the center of your bread. Or the person cooking. Or the person cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Distractions. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you in uh, about 50 minutes. Nice. Now we're going to do the taste test with blueberries. You ready? You're going to use that big knife? You want me to cut it? Sure. Check it out. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Well, thank you, Lord, for a brand new recipe. <laughs> Person else is speaking too separate. She's the eyes. Got an outage. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have GCI. I got AT and T. You called me. <laughs> All righty. Nice. A blueberry. This is a thumbs up. A uh -oh, thumbs up. Oh. You got the pretty green and the blue and purple going on. 
Mm-hmm. We'll add that to the coffee site so you've got the recipe. We've really enjoyed you being with us today. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Stay tuned because it only gets better. better. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs>